Hi, I'm Pete Sopir, new product development manager, here to showcase the Molex Backplane Configurator. The main objective of the Backplane Configurator is to provide customers an easier way of selecting the appropriate product for their specific application. So from the initial screen that we have here, essentially there's a handful of questions that are asked that advances your requirements to the next phase, which is component selection. For example, you fill in the required data rate, greater than or less than 25 gig, and it selects the appropriate product that we would promote, an impact product or an impel product for data rates greater than 25 gig. You select the appropriate differential pair count along with the single-ended pairs, and if there is any power requirements that are also required for the application, that can be input as well. We have various configurations that our connector support, both impel and impact, such as orthogonal midplane, orthogonal direct, coplanar, mezzanine, and the traditional right angle daughter card to vertical backplane. For this demonstration, we will select conventional orientation with some guides to ensure that we get good alignment. So once we fill in the appropriate information from the first page, what happens is that it takes your information and stores it here. We had selected greater than 25 gig along with your signaling requirements, and it provides it in options that we currently have tooled and available. In this example, we have two through six pair, and the critical dimensions that it's providing you right now is mechanical slot pitch, also the total linear space that is required to meet your signal density needs, the amount of modules and configurations, and I think the other benefit that this has is, is it provides the mate force required for the specific application. So what we can do from this screen is select the appropriate pair size that, that would meet your mechanical requirements. So as we advance the, the configurator, you again can see that it's retaining all the information and inputs that you've provided. And in the form of a pin map, it's providing you an overview of high-speed differential pair, low-speed signaling, power, grounds, and any unused pins. The intent with the configurator is to provide a good economical balance, ensuring customers aren't paying for pins that are not being used. In this case, you can see with the amount of low-speed signals and power, we have very few, only four pins that are deemed unused at this point. They can be reclassed for other requirements within the application. However, you can see this is a very well utilized pin map. So with the configuration as you see here, we've selected our four pair option. We have four pair in a 10 column configuration that are stacked together. One of the additional benefits with this configurator is that enables you to manipulate the pin map orientation such that, for example, if you require near end and far end, you can isolate those by relocating the low speed signals as well as the power pins within the pin map. Once you've optimized your pin map, you select the next button and that'll take you to the next page where we'll ask for some basic information, your name and company. And once you submit that, you will receive an email confirmation from Molex with this specific pin map in an Excel format and also product links to the necessary collateral required for your design, such as sales drawings, 3D models, as well as S parameters.